Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlip and today we are reacting to the latest One Piece chapter. Uh, we, had, we have had one week break, uh, which has been so long. Uh, usually a break week goes by like that. But this one has been so long, it feels like. Uh, just uh, skimming through the last chapter real quick here. Uh, <clears throat> We had a really heartfelt uh, conversation between uh, Kisaru and uh, Akainu. So sad seeing uh, Kisaru just in so far down and in so uh, it's emotional, just overwhelming himself. I, I did not expect that last chapter. It's it's. it's it's sad to see, but it's also beautiful to see him uh, convey his feelings. Then we jump to the Vegapunk, uh, Lilith, who says that they are not... Vegapunk is not dead. Uh, Lilith is alive, and all of Punk records and her in her mind is, is still intact, so there might be a chance that the satellites can come back and um, probably Vegapunk and uh, and Frankie are gonna work on that uh, and then we had a silhouette character sitting and saying uh, uh, on Elbaf uh, saying come on then uh, to waiting for the crew to come a lot of people are expecting it to be um, uh, one of the Roger crewmates. Uh, I, for the life of me, I can't remember the name right now. Everyone just jumps straight to him right away. I still believe it's uh, Shanks. Uh, because Shanks was, uh, said he was going to go for um, the One Piece. But then... Uh, uh, Kid interrupted him by attacking his uh, or trying to attack his uh, fleet and his friends. Then the word of uh, um, Vegapunk got sent worldwide, and they know that Egghead is not too far away from Elbaf. So he, uh, so in, I think that he stopped his uh, uh, quest for the One Piece just for a tiny moment to send the. Uh, the giants to go get a uh, Vegapunk and the Strohat crew at Egghead. And the silhouette we see at the last chapter is Shanks drinking his uh, beer or sake uh, or, or alcohol in general and waiting for um, the Strohat crew, waiting for Luffy to come to, uh, to Egghead. I uh, know to Elbaf. Also, uh, we got a Vivre card uh, in this break week that apparently it seems that uh, Frankie might be the child of Queen from uh, the Beast Pirates. That could be a misdirection from uh, Ola, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to take that as, uh, with a grain of salt because uh, that's just thrown out there all, all of a sudden. Right, <clears throat> without further ado, uh, let's jump into the next chapter. It's chapter 1125. What constitutes death? Um, so, just before I go ahead and read the uh, uh, front page uh, picture, uh, if you're new, uh, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Uh, leave a like and uh, comment what you think about this chapter or what you think about Egghead as a whole. I would love to read what you have to say. All right, uh, front page. Uh, child, uh, only child Yamato. Uh, Odin Castle is to be rebuilt, but Minatomo, the carpenter, is missing. <laughs> Why is he missing? Okay. That's really nice to see that they're rebuilding uh, Odin's castle. It brings a war harm, war harm to me. Right. What's next for the marines still left standing? Load the Seraphim as soon as they are charged. 
As for the weaponized sea beast and Mark III pacifista. Huh? Already? Uh, load the Seraphim as soon as they are charged. As for the weapon weaponized sea beast and Mark III pacifista. And just, and it just cuts out. Oh, what up, Luchi san? Kaku san? Wait, where's Stussy san? Killed in action. What? And uh, literally all bruised up, uh, Kaku in the background looking like he's down. Because he obviously know what's happened. Um, we obtained everything. We set out for... No, we, we obtained everything we set out for. We just... Oh, sorry. That's the... World government ship. With York, Punk Records and the power station in hand, we have secured access to the Eternal Mother Flame. That result will have been more than ad adequate. Adequate. But we had one critical hiccup. That's a Saturn speaking to the Vice Admiral, it seems. Uh, we're terribly sorry, sir. It is a disgrace that we failed to capture Jewelry Bonnie and the Struat crew. Even with our Grand Buster Call fleet, the nine of us Vice Admirals couldn't get the job done. Please give us give us leave to pursue them to El Elbaf. And you have the Vice Admirals uh, standing on the line, and uh, Dole and uh, has returned back to normal self, so that uh, Jewelry Bonnie's effect has gone out. Saturn is just sitting there menacing, looking at them. No. Forget Elbaf. The failure to which I ref refer is far more dire. Allowing Vegapunk's message to be to play was an unexpected disaster. Not to mention that Iron Giant surfacing to aid the pirates' escape. It's iconic, really. Roughly two hundred years ago, in a in a in a square box. So Saturn was alive two hundred years ago. Uh, that's confirmation right here. But, Sat but Saint Saturn, we've already received orders to scrap it. I will take responsibility should this be uncovered. Now do as I bid and study it ter terribly. Really? This is the future. I am certain it will ultimately prove to be a great asset to our military might. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. It would have been a shame to junk such an exciting specimen. So... Uh, Scientist from 200 years ago after a Mary Joa attack is delighted to study the orange giant. It remained dormant for 200 years, and yet it clearly moved to protect Strohat Luffy. Mm -hmm. Then we have one of Wallace Admirals, Doberman, I think his name is. Saint Saturn, as a humble and loyal soldier of the government, I have one question weighing on my mind. You said allow allowing Vegapunk's message to get out was a failure. Does that imp imply there was some truth behind the remarks? Shit, and then Saturn just stare him down. And the Vice Admirals Vice Admiral just instantly just get thrown backwards and just blood is spewing out of him. Yeah, Doberman. Vice Admiral Doberman! You need a medic! That one one of them awake! Why is Admiral? Oh, shit. Saturn just stared at him and he got thrown back and blood spewing out from him. Inside the lab. Huh? What's happening? Sky clouds? There's York sitting there reacting. Not good. They aren't stopping. Why is the cloud factory going haywire? It must be Edison, that damn fool who couldn't just roll over and die in the Fabry stratum, could he? <laughs> oh, so he is alive. <laughs> you see a dark uh, panel with a little bit of light and an eye popping out. <laughs> Bingo! You have uh, York shooting a uh, Laser or something on the left side of the uh, trouble. Um, the top part of Egghead goes big, big explosion. Damn it, I've been played. Whoa, 
He's taken Punk Records, the top part of uh, Egghead is floating up into the air because of the the clouds that uh, uh, the cloud factory factory. So he's he's sending Punk Records up into the air, so no one, so the Marines can't get get a hold of it. Clever. I actually think I read a theory about that, that uh, someone was sending uh, punk records up into the sky. Or someone thought that Vegapunk was going to send uh, them up into the sky. So that person who did that, bravo. Uh, the holy land of Mary Joyce. What do you mean? A dim dimwit Vegapunk can't be telling the truth. What is... What is Akainu doing? He still hasn't done anything about Kuma's escape. Besides, the world sinking doesn't affect us. <clears throat> Celestial dragons. What is it with this, these scraps? You buffoon of a chef, I ordered beef. Why did you serve me fish? I'm, I'm, I'm so terribly sorry, your worship. Our stock have dwindled. This is unheard of. And he shoots the chef. One of, one of the Celestials. This food issue has gone too far. I not only missed a meal yesterday, I was only allowed... I wasn't allowed any snacks. Unacceptable! Treated like a common street rat. Is there a famine? Is there a famine? Will we starve? We must sentence whoever responsible to death. No, that's not enough. The negligent scum responsible should be tortured for a mis misman mis mismanagement. The room of authority. Garling! Ooh, Garling! What do you think you're doing here? New orders have been bestowed upon me. New orders? From whom? What are you saying, Garling? Tread lightly, you forget yourself. Hmm? The Vegapunk known as York shall henceforth be under my purview. As I was just named the new defense science warrior god. Ooh, he's a new elder. But who is the defense science warrior god again? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to look that up. Uh, One Piece Elders title. Well, this is information I should remember, but it's there is so much in this. Uh, there is so much in this uh, in this show or this uh, manga. Saturn, Saturn was the defense. Uh, uh, war god defense. So Saturn is being demoted. Don't tell me. The world is heading for turmoil. An unprecedented level of rebellion is imminent. Let us work together to better the world, my fellow elders. Five elder planets, Saint Figilan Garling, defense science warrior god. <laughs> he just sits down in his chair, put his uh, one foot over the other. Hand in a cross and state his, uh, his business. <laughs> I'm excited to see if uh, he actually is related to Shanks or not. I don't know. I don't remember if he did have that confirmation or is, or, or is that if the or if that is just a theory. I don't, I don't think it's. I think it's just a theory. Egghead, the island of the future. Saint Saturn, sir. What is happening to him? Whoa. Saturn is going. Ah! While well, he's holding his mouth. Ah! Where are those medics? Hurry, we need them. Saint Saturn, what's going on? He's one of the world's over overseers. We cannot let anything happen to him. He goes, ah! And sort of all of the sort of the black smoke or black uh, essence of his. Uh, Devil 
form or whatever they had. You, you remember when he summoned the other elders to Egghead? They were cl uh, clouded in some, some dark uh, mist almost. It's seeping out of, out of him. It's in some sort of disease. Saint Saturn, tell us what should we do? He's he's withering away. He's he's, he's dying, essentially. He's, he's he's sort of like uh, seeing um, a crocodile gripping someone and soaking out their uh, draining their water from their body. Everything is just crumbling together. No, can't be. I'm. All the vice admirals are. Uh... Reacting. What the? That one's going. Imusama. Have mercy. How could I in, in, in anticipate the power foiling us? Saturn. Joy Boy was behind that escape and you let it happen. So Emu is doing this. Holy shit. Uh. The black smoke is seeping out of Saturn. He's crumbling uh, to a mummified uh, version of himself. And then you got a clash of a uh, conqueror's hockey just spewing out, out of him. Like it's so massive that the ships beside them are uh, sort of capsizing. And the voice admirals are getting blown back. And he turns to a skeleton. It's just his head, uh, skeleton head left. Ah, oh, skeleton. Hmm. Then we jump to uh, punk records in the sky. Looks like we want. Looks like we weren't able to move the lab. Looks like we weren't able to move the lab stratum too. Uh, it's Shaka talking. Shaka is saying, looks like we weren't able to move the labo, labo stratum too. And then uh, Atlas is answering, that traitor York got in the way. Pythagoras. The signal reaches across the globe, so she'll, she'll, oh my God. So she'll still be able to connect uh, Edison. But that's better than handing her the whole thing on a silver platter, ain't it? Shaka going... No, there's some, something else here. Until the day all of humanity can access our brain, we have to keep it safe. Uh, Shaka's going, it, it'll probably be at least 500 years, I assume. 500 years, I assume you used a roaming cloud. You got it. Ah, oh, this is uh, uh, Edison talking because he's not in punk records. He's... Uh, He's on Labus Ratum. You got it. But the whole world will reckon us Vega Punks are six feet feet under. So it ain't like we can laser laserly tour the world now, right? And Pythagoras going true. And with no funds or resources, we can't keep inventing either. We'll have to just leave that to our partners. And you have Edison going. Uh, putting on uh, body parts. How do we look? <laughs> Atlas is smiling. Big face. Absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I see you always admire my lovely proportions. Huh? Chaka's guy is answering. Shut up, you knucklehead. But it looks like Edison has put on all the parts of uh, Pythagoras, Atlas, and Shaka. And combining him with himself to make him taller and more like a combined unit. But Atlas, Pythagoras, uh, and Shaka uh, is just uh, inside punk records. They are just sharing the, the mind. Let's toss York's spar parts out. <laughs> Good thinking. They're creepy. I have a theory. Oh my god. Edison is contacting Vether Vederia. V Vederia. Oh my god. The cloud where Nami spent the two years. C come in. Anyone there? This Vega. This here's Vegapunk. Vegapunk? But I thought you were dead. <laughs> Old man. 
Oi, 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 oi. If you jump to come back a kingdom. Oh my. Oh my, how grisly. What's gonna happen? Are we going to die? I don't want to die. No water. Gonna kill me. I can swim. <laughs> to put it bluntly. None of us knew these details. The void sentry. Uh, this is... Um, uh, koala. Okay. The void sentry covered up a massive war. And that column culminated in ancient weapons tech, plunging the world 200 meters deeper into the ocean. Not only that, but the one who claims the One Piece will not only be crowned Pirate King, they'll likely get to wield that devastating power for himself. We can't let that happen. The world will sink. This, is, this explains why the first celestial dragons chose to live on the red line. The highest point on the planet, uh, except for Sky Island. Sky Islands. There's also Tequila Wolf, Vodka Wolf, Rum Wolf, and Bourbon Wolf. Is this why they spent the last 700 years forcing slaves to build all those gigantic structures? That you remember that giant bridge that's like uh, expanding over uh, West Blue, I think it is. All the pieces are falling into place. You took the worst right out of my mouth. Mine too. And then we have Dragon. Vegapunk. Among those who heed your warning, many will act out of self-interest, not peace. We must hurry and achieve victory for our cause before the people of the world kill each other to secure habitable land. Oh my god, what is happening? And then the end, uh, end uh, text is, an era of chaos dawns. So, 22 or 24 years ago, uh, I think it's 24 years ago, uh, Goldie Roger plunged the world into a new age of pirates, sending them all looking for the One Piece, um, making the world sort of you could say unstable uh there, there were pirates before uh goldie roger did that but uh the amount of pirates that came into play uh, after goldie roger's last words uh sort of uh sent the world into turmoil with all the pirates going into the grand line going out into the world and now 24 years later uh, Ve uh, vegapunk's last words uh, will send the entire world, not just pirates, uh, normal people, uh, marines, uh, celestial dragons, uh, the giants, uh, uh, pirates, uh, all manner of people into a new chaotic world. There won't be just uh, pirates versus the marines. This is this will be everyone versus everyone. Wow. Wow, 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 that's, that's just, that is powerful. I can see why the chapter is called, uh, What Constitutes Death? Or that's probably not the right wording, uh, translation. It might be something else, but I, I can see it be, uh, hinted to a war towards, uh, both uh, Saturn uh, being uh, 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 replaced by uh, Garling, and uh, and then uh, essentially dying, but also uh, the Vegapunks living in punk records. They are uh, Shaka, Pythagoras, and uh, Atlas is dead in uh, in their physical form. But their mind is still alive inside Punk Records. I, I, I just, I just love seeing the Celestial Dragons. Just, they don't have food. I just love seeing them having to have uh, face a lot of realities that other people on, in the world ha have been facing for decades. They deserve everything that's coming to them. 
So Emu talked to Garling and told him that he would become the new defense science warrior god. What exactly is Emu and what exactly is the power that... Because Saturn is confirmed to be 200, at least 200 years old because he was in the pa past talking to the scientist about uh, the orange giant. Uh, but when he is dying, that black cloud, black uh, mist uh, essence is le leaving him and he just crumbles into a mummified version of himself and then just being left as a skeleton on the floor. Um, and he says, Imusama, have mercy. How could I anticipate that power foiling us? And Imu going, Saturn, Joy Boy was behind that escape and you allowed it to happen. So what exactly is the power that Imu has over the elders? I... Um... Because there are there are the theories going around that uh, the uh, elders are just uh, sort of like the Vegapunks, but uh, from from Emu, like they are uh, parts of himself split into beings of power. But you can clearly see that Saturn is. Uh, he has his own personality. He have uh, he's asking Imu for mercy. So Imu, they they are probably not part of Imu, but Imu can bestow powers onto them. Maybe because no normal human lives for over two hundred years. Oh, huh. interesting. Alright, that's the end of this chapter. Uh, uh, there's a lot going on in this chapter. And uh, nothing from the Straw Hat crew. We're still sort of... We are, we are still sort of in Egghead. Um, we are about to leave Egghead. Like, we are just... Um, finishing off loose threads, you could say. Like, not, not loose threads, but we are finishing off... Uh, Threads that will be left loose if it weren't explained by Oda. Like if Oda just said, oh, okay, now we're going to Elbaf and just leave everything uh, to be explained later. I actually like that we are seeing it all happen now. Uh, after chapter. You, usually after, uh, after each arc, there is updates about the world. And that's what we're getting here, of course. But we're getting more... Um, uh, deep connection to the past, deep connection to uh, the uh, state of what's going to happen across the world, not just the world reacting to what's been happening. There's more, uh, yeah, you could say end game, more end game, uh, end game information. Let me just look up uh, Garling. One piece just to see if I'm missing something about him and Shanks. Pass. Mm. <laughs> I'm reading a trivia. According to Oda, if Garling were to grow out his head. Uh, out his hair on his head and beard hair more they will connect in a full uh, circle so it looks like a full moon <laughs> Funny. let's see uh garling and shanks
There's no confirmation, but there's... No, there's no confirmation. People are just theorizing. theorizing. Um, okay, that's it for uh, this chapter. Uh, thank you all for uh, watching with me. Uh, and uh, I will, like I said uh, before I started, please leave uh, your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, I would love to read what you think about what's happening. And of course, you can uh, read, uh, leave comments about this chapter as well. Maybe point out if I missed something. Uh, maybe you have a theory that makes sense that I haven't thought about. I, I, I would love to hear, love to hear about what you have. Oh my god! I would love to hear about what you have to say. Okay, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in next uh, next One Piece episode. Bye bye. Hello, are here? Uh, I just had to cut in. I'm currently in the making of the thumbnail for this uh, episode, and uh, I had a brain fart, you could say. Uh, usually, after I uh, record my reaction, I go to the One Piece Reddit, and then I uh, uh, sort of uh, tell everyone my feelings about the uh, episode. No, not episode, but about the chapter, and then I start writing and then my thought process keeps going and going and going and i had a thought um what if emu has the awakened devil fruit not just like a normal devil fruit like uh you have luchis uh, devil fruit is awakened uh leopard form or uh, uh the flamingos uh, is a, a awakened uh, string fruit. Not just that, but Emu has the devil fruit. Like Emu is the devil. Emu has awake awakened the devil fruit and can bestow uh, powers from hell upon uh, people he chooses to or her. I don't, I'm not sure about the uh, ex Emus yet. Uh, uh, you can bestow powers onto people who sort of sign a contract with Imu, and Imu can then give those people powers or monsters from hell. Uh, we do know that the underworld is uh, a thing in the One Piece universe. Uh, when Brook died, he, his soul was sent to the underworld, but since he's uh, fruit is the revive, ri revive fruit. He came back to life, so he has been in the underworld. His soul has been in the underworld, and he is aware that he has been in the underworld. But his soul returned to life, and then he found his body again. Uh, so the underworld is a plane of existence in the One Piece world, but we know nothing about it except that Brook has been there, and Brook Brook's power is uh, tapping into the power of the underworld you have his ice ability and he can uh, sort of control souls with his music so the underworld is is a place in the one piece universe so what if emu emu's devil fruit is the devil and by awakening the the devil fruit of the devil uh Emu can then bestow beings of power onto other people in the form of a contract. Uh, Saturn has been alive for over two hundred years. You can clearly see in uh, in the in the chapter that uh, Saturn is uh, an old man. So when he formed a contract with Emu as an old man, he uh, got the power of that uh, spider monster sort of thing uh, from Emu 
and sign a contract that I will now serve you. Your aging has halted. You are now in my uh, control. You are now uh, under me. You you will not die from natural causes. You will not die from being killed. You will live forever as long as I deem it. Um, so uh, when uh, Imut took took the power back from Saturn, uh, he aged the remain. He aged the years that since he uh, did the contract till now. He aged that instantly and turned into a skeleton. It's like he just instantly aged 200 years. That's what happened with his body shriveling together in an instant and turning into a skeleton. And all the power seeding out is just the power going back to Emu or back to the underworld. I'm currently making the thumbnail. You can see here uh, my thought process. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll remove my cam. I'm thinking, sort of, you, you'll see this, uh, of course, uh, on the thumbnail. Maybe it's not this at all. I'm thinking, Emu is like pointing at, pointing at the world itself, and then maybe have the line like the title as um, Emu, the Devil, or um, is Emu the Devil? Uh, I'm trying to come up with a cool title. I I, I don't want necessarily to spoil heavily for uh, on email watchers only, but uh, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to navigate that aspect. I, um, I could just leave this as a picture as alone, but uh, <laughs> I, I would I would I would be lying if I said I don't want. I don't want to attract you people to watch the video, and I sort of ha sort of have to clickbait, but not at the, at the same time. Um, yeah, so uh, I think Emu has awakened uh, the devil fruit. Uh, Emu is the devil in in person. Someone from the past imagined. Uh, how uh, how to how to the devil will be, and then the fruit came into existence according to Vega Pink's theory. Um, and uh, that kind of goes uh, uh, sort of like um, opposite to Luffy as well, because Luffy is the sun god, and the devil is below the sun. It's in the deep. It's uh, hidden from the world. It's the one. Wreck, wrecking havoc while the sun god is giving joy and sun to the people. Uh, also, one more thing. Um, Blackbird's crew, uh, Devon and uh, Augur was on Egghead and Devon touched Saturn. Saturn is now dead uh, and uh, Garling has taken over that position. But Devon can now transfer in to Saturn. I'm really struggling how to see how or what uh, the one or Blackbird would use that power for. Uh, of course, the Marines at Egghead will get the order to not talk about the incident at all, because that's way above their pay grade. Um, the Vice Admirals will be shut down. Uh, uh, that I just want to air that idea. Um, like I said, I think Emu has the devil fruit and has awakened the devil fruit to be able to bestow people powers, granting them immortality by signing a contract with Emu. Yep, that's it. I just want to add that. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for watching. Bye bye.